Ooh, mud. So this is a project I've been working on for a while. I have this nice stretch of trail on the property. Comes along and then gets into a very muddy section. Now you can see that I've started creating a <clears throat> corduroy road uh, with a slight difference. I've been adding, or I will be adding wood chips to it to make it a smooth surface. You can see down at the end that I've started that and I'm just finishing up putting down all these corduroy logs before I finish covering it over. Um, I've been working, did a number of things on this to try to resolve the issue. You can see right here I put in uh, water bars uh, and dug out some channels. So the water bars did send water off to the side, but the ground was still very muddy. Um, I modified it a little bit, so it's you know coming down here. So it made it so it runs along the side of the uh, pathway, and then kind of goes under some corduroy, and then gets over here. The other thing I did, and while that that is putting water out off to the side, um, it still didn't make a appreciable difference to the mud. Now the other thing that I tried was digging out a channel here, um, and you can see there's quite a bit of water going through there. Um, and it was doing that before, but not as uh, not as much. So I deepened it a little bit. Um, and one thing that I've started recently, which might help, because that, that's where I really want the water to go anyway, not come down here at all. But it doesn't seem like what I've been trying is working, so that's why I started creating this corduroy road. Um, it's possible that some of it is leaking through this little berm that I made. So I've been finding some flatter rocks right here and here and here, and I stuck those in. Maybe to uh, help keep the water into this trench. But there's quite a long distance of it, and I'm not sure that is actually going to help. Um, we've got a long... You may not be able to see it very well, but there's a long hill that comes down here, <clears throat> and everything drains, and then there's a flat spot. It's actually kind of a valley, because you see it's this side is up a little bit. So the water comes down and gets caught. So that's why I'm creating this corduroy road. I've done it in a couple other places that I'll show you a little bit later. Um, and it seems to work well. So I think once I get this completed, it'll be pretty good. Um, I've got some blowdowns up on this ridge that... Uh, I want to cut up for firewood and bring through here and with the mud the cart is just going to get stuck <clears throat> so uh you know so i put the corduroy across here uh to give it some stability also if there is water coming through it'll kind of give it a channel to go through um, and then on the sides i put larger logs and to kind of hold the wood chips in and then putting wood chips on top of the corduroy so, you know, it's, it can be leveled out. Um, I haven't finished with this section yet. And eventually it'll pack down. You can see it's a, you know, it compresses a little bit. But it's not going to get to the point like mud would where you'd get a wheel stuck in there. <clears throat> now this does make a nice little stream. It comes down. Runs off the hillside and down, which is kind of nice, but um, I'd like to do that in a specific channel and not 
kind of spread out and make a real muddy section. So this is one section that I have completed, or basically completed. Um, you can see down here on the side, there's a lot of water. And, you know, right now we came off a pretty heavy rain uh, maybe a week ago. It's hard to say, about a week. And so it, it's not always standing water like this, but it is pretty much muddy all the time. Um, and so this is wood chips are dry. You know, they will pack down over time. And as long as uh, we don't get a flood through here, um, these side logs will keep it, the wood chips in place. And it should be fine. If some do get lost, um, I can always chip more. There's my chipper right there under the tarp. Um, always chip more and cover it up. So here's the finished product of my corduroy road. Um, we're essentially finished. I have a couple rock slabs, which I'm considering putting over the stream here instead of the wood. Uh, one I can definitely move, but uh, I'm not sure it's big enough to really cover the area. Uh, there's another one that's sticking out of the ground, uh, which I have not been able to move per se, but I think I found the back edge and I just need to lever it out. And uh, we'll see how heavy that is. Uh, if I can get, get it here, I think I'll probably put it down to act as a bridge instead of these planks. But uh, the rest of it is all done. And it uh, feels pretty good. I haven't... Well, I did take the wood chipper across it, and that went smoothly. Um, I do have some wood to cut up and bring across on with the cart so that'll be the real test because that'll be a heavier than the wood chipper but uh, it, uh, I think this will be uh, pretty good a lot better than wading through the mud Many months later. Okay, so here's a new addition to the corduroy road. Uh, I put this block of stone across the stream bed in order to be able to cross it better with the cart. It's uh, not as big as I'd like it. I guess I'd really like to have this more of a square. But it's uh, it's usable. I'm able to come down. I have to do have to stop and make sure I, the wheels are lined up. But it's not too difficult getting across. The stone is uh, really too heavy to lift in total. I'm able to shift one side up or the other side up. But uh, I think trying to carry the whole thing would be too much. I actually harvested that stone. <coughs> over here is lying on the side of the road on top of those stones over there and I was able to get it on some planks and then walk it you know moving one side and then the other onto the cart and bring it up here I do have a larger piece that I was thinking of using but uh, I wasn't able to shift it out of the dirt. And uh, I'm sure it was, well, it's a good size and would cover this whole area. Um, I think it'd be really too heavy to lift. 
So let's see. Let's see if I can get the view underneath here. I've put uh, stones along the side where this block rests, you know, and it's solid, doesn't shift at all. And the rest of the corduroy road is still uh, pretty decent. It is covered with leaves at the moment, which, uh, you know, I don't think it affects anything. But it continues to hold up well. I, uh, most of the water is coming over here along the side where I was hoping it would. It is still muddy here along the side of the quarry road. <clears throat> and if the quarry road wasn't here, I'm sure this whole section would be mud. And it's not, it's firm. It doesn't seem to uh, bounce at all. When I first built it, it was a little bouncy. So that's firmed up. And one thing I was worried about was, I was afraid that it might erode if it ended up water running down the center, but that doesn't seem to have happened. 